love the, I love the, uh, I know your story quite well, obviously, Christian, you know, because we go way back, as we said, but you're just very casual about, you know, throwing it all in, you know, that we just met some Irish guy in the pub and we threw in three, three grand each and we sort of started a business and all very casual about, about that. But it must have been crazy back then. Was it, was it just sort of complete seat of your pants type start to the business? Yeah, hundred um, percent. And it, you know, I, I, I do, I do say it a bit offhand, maybe. But the, this this New York guy that I met, he was also a pedicabber. And there's a lot of people in business. And, and growing up in England, I think I was always going to start my own business. And there's a lot more people that say they'll start a business than actually will. And most people will go along with an idea, but they won't. You know, most people don't execute. And this New York guy I called he was called Jack. And he was the kind of person that would just do anything. If I said, let's start a bus business, he would have said, yeah, let's do it. If I'd have started, I said, let's start a restaurant, he would have been all in. So he's probably the first person I met who I knew after meeting him would just do whatever, would just go along with it and wasn't scared to try something. But on the back side of that, he was a little bit crazy. So I almost brought in the Irish guy as a buffer. You know, here's, here's me knowing nothing. Like, let's, let's bring in the barman from the Irish pub as a, as a buffer. As a third person, but we we and you know at that age I, I just don't we didn't stop and think we just sort of did it we we bought a bus without really thinking we went we drove down to to the bus dealership without having any idea what to look for in a bus or brands or anything and we just we just bought our first one without knowing anything about it so it it was a lack of thinking really it was a um, yeah it probably probably well definitely far too much courage. And we, and we deserve it.